Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to stream full screen with your PlayStation 4 camera. Coming up next on Your6 Studios. One of the frustrating things about the PlayStation 4 camera is there is no easy way to stream it full screen. However, there is a way that you can do it and that's using the Playroom. I'm going to show you how to get the Playroom right now. If you go over to the store, you should be able to find it in here if you go to search. And it should come with the PlayStation 4 camera, but we will need one installation with it, and that is the AR Studio. So let's go to search right now, and then type in the Playroom. Then on the right-hand side, go ahead and download this application right here. It will be just the Playroom in general if you don't already have it on your PlayStation. You may have it on your PlayStation if you have the camera already. So download this one and install it. And then we will need another one. And this one will be called the AR Studio. And this will allow us to stream full screen right here. So let's go ahead and select it. And this is free also. And I already have it installed, but go ahead and install this on your device. And here is the Playroom on my desktop. So let's go ahead and start the Playroom right now by selecting X on it. And to do this, we will need a PlayStation 4 controller that does have a light bar on it. If you are using a third-party controller like the Razer Raju that does not have light bar, you are out of luck. So you're going to have to get a DualShock 4. And also, you will need a tablet or a smartphone to do this. Sony doesn't make it easy streaming full screen with the PlayStation 4 camera. So the Playroom is starting up right now. And let's press any button to continue. And I'm just going to skip the game. The tutorial is very long and annoying every time you start this up. So let's go ahead and put our controller on the light bar. And it should detect it here soon. And there we go. We are in the Playroom right now. And... You could stream like this, full screen, but this little ninja robot thing is going to show up on your screen all the time, and it's going to be annoying. And he's going to want us to flick up on the touchpad here, and we're going to have a menu that pops up. And you're going to have multiple different options on here. You're going to have hockey, play with this Osabi bot, controller check, camera setup. And we are going to look for the AR Studio. Um, package that we installed earlier so let's go ahead and select that and the AR studio is actually pretty sick you can use your smartphone to adjust music sound add in images so let's go ahead and press any button to continue blah 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 we will need to connect our smartphone to it so I got my smartphone right here and we're gonna have to go to add devices on our PlayStation 4 very shortly. However, we will need a application on our phone called PlayStation Second Screen. So go to your phone right now and go to the Play Store and go ahead and type in PlayStation Second Screen. So here is the PlayStation 4 Second Screen. I'm going to go ahead and open it on my device. And we are going to have to go to a PlayStation 4 option and go ahead and type in a number here shortly so let's go ahead and go to my playstation 4 right now ps destroyer and it's connecting to my playstation 4 and now it is asking me for a number so let's go ahead and go to settings by pressing the playstation home button and going up to settings and then going down to the playstation app connection settings should be right here mobile app connection settings select that and then we're going to have to add a device. And here's the number that pops up. And let's type that into my phone. 3691. Register. And my phone is now registered. So let's go back to that application right now. And then let's type in, or let's press second screen on the second screen app and tap it to continue and now on my screen I should be able to add in objects let's add in oh I have a few on here from a while ago let's type in this one and here comes my moped on the screen 
I got that, what, like five years ago? And you can easily delete it like that. And I have a few on here. What, 2014 I last used this, I guess. So you can draw in numbers like that too. And this is actually pretty good. And then if you want to stream from here, go ahead and hold down the share button or press it, depending on your setting. And then go to broadcast gameplay. And I'm going to go ahead and choose YouTube. And everything is good, except I'm not going to do comments on screen. And then I'm going to go to broadcast gameplay. You can title it any way you want. And you can start streaming from here. And here we go. I am actually going live on YouTube right now. I have my camera down there, so I'll have to get rid of my camera. So let's go to my broadcast settings and go to advanced settings. Let's not include my camera in the broadcast. So my camera will still show up because I'm in the application, but it won't show up somewhere else on the stream. So there you go. You can stream full screen on your PlayStation 4 camera. And it's very easy. Check out this application. It's pretty sick, actually. All the amount of stuff you can add in here. If you want to add in extra effects, music, objects, if I want to put a mask on myself, it's pretty darn easy. Let's add one to that guy right there. So mess around with it the way you want it. And what is this one? I must have did this one a while ago. What the heck? Got a couple of different visual effects on here too. Some of these aren't too bad. So this is actually pretty sick if you want to just sit here and broadcast live stream. And then you can go and type in or take any picture you want from here. You just have to allow it on your phone, allow it. So I took a few pictures yesterday. Um, let's go with this Doom Guy one though. So I can go ahead and put this into my actual. Oh crap, I killed him. So I can go ahead and put this actually into my live stream right now by pressing that. And there it is. There's my Doom Guy right here to the right of me. So you can put in any image you want. You can draw little images in here too. And it's actually pretty cool. So check this out. This is the AR Studio in the playroom. And you can live stream full screen with your PlayStation 4 camera. If this video helped you out, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below. And check out some of the other amazing content coming up on Your 6 Studios next.